Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, welcome. My name is Adrienne, I live in New York City and I love playing with makeup. And I am challenging myself right now to a 30 day lip challenge where I look at all my lip collection and I try to figure out what it is I really love prefer, what I feel a little ho-hum about, and share my thoughts with you. So maybe it can, I don't know, educate, inspire, whatever. So today I'm actually going to talk about a lip product that I really, really like. I have four shades in this formulation and I just think it's a great formulation. And I don't think a lot of people talk about this brand and also this lip product. And the brand and the lip product I'm talking about is by Smashbox, the legendary prime and plush lipsticks. Smashbox consistently for me is one of the best brands in terms of products that they've put out that are sort of staples, that are workhorses in my collection. I'm wearing most mostly Smashbox right now. I am wearing, I think it is my favorite, BB Cream. It is the Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I mix two shades together to get my shade. I am wearing one of the best face palettes that has ever been released, in my opinion, Smashbox Cali Contour. This one here, it's quite old in my collection. I wanna get a fresh one, but it just has some beautiful shades in it, beautiful highlight, beautiful blush, contour, bronzer. It is such a great palette, even for the eyes, it's wonderful. Another item that I have a video on, it's their cream shadow. They're always on cream shadow. I have one on my eyes right now. I have it in guava. I have swatched the entire collection or most of this collection and I'll uh, link it down below, but it is an excellent product. And on the corners of my eyes, I deepened up that shadow with another iconic product, which is their Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. These here that come in like a, a photo lens. I have mine in the shade uh, Nude Pick Light and might not look like much, but it is, again, like a workhorse product. I could take any of these shades, do a quick look. This is the type of eyeshadow palette that lives in my purse. It is so durable, the formulation. You can use it as liner or brightening or just deepening up. It's, it's really, really good, and it comes in different tones, and I just, yeah, I just use the darker color to kind of uh, buff it out on the edge. So those are just some of the Smashbox products that I use and love. I have not tried everything from the brand. But today, it's all about lipstick, so we're gonna just get to it. I'm gonna swatch all four shades, and at the end of this video, I will insert a clip of the four shades swatched on my arm in indirect sunlight, so you can get a real good perspective on what the tone actually looks like, because it's a little hard to recreate, especially in the evening with lights. It's 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 not good it's not good so i will swatch each of these colors and as i'm swatching them i'll talk about the formula and why i like it so much the first one is level up and this was actually the first one that i purchased so that is level up i actually purchased this because it is a dupe for charlotte tilbury's pillow talk and when I did my dupe video of Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, that's why I purchased this color. I actually prefer this to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's just a tiny bit richer, and I think that the formula is just much more hydrating. You see, it, it has a little bit of a sheen. It's truly like a cream lipstick, but there's a lot of grip to it. There is some weight to it, so it's not the thinnest formula, but it's so comfortable and it's comfortable even as the day progresses so if you're talking a lot it's not gonna dry out and crack and show lines it's just a really beautiful product and i really like the component too it's just a nice you know bright white with a little red line and then here it's all red on the inside color on the bottom sort of indicates the color of what's inside which i really love for storage reasons, and it has a very soft, 
scent but a barely there vanilla. I think this color is beautiful. I think it's extremely flattering and I love it. I love it. It has a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach. It's really lean, it really leans neutral and I think that's really the key for this type of shade for me because if it's too light and it goes a little too cool or warm, I, it tends to look, I tend to look a little sickly but I think that's really pretty. So that's level up. Next one up I have is Higher Self. This one is definitely more plummy, more brown, but it's still a very pretty neutral. I love this type of shade. This, is, this shade for me is much more comfortable as a nude on a daily basis. I just feel like I need a little more contrast between my skin and my lips and I just feel like this brings me there. There's just a toasty quality to it that's really beautiful and again has a little brown but has a little bit of that rose and I just I just think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color so that is higher self. I'm swatching these in the order that I purchased them because I think that's interesting. <laughs> so I remember being in Ulta and going towards the formula again and kind of like swatching in person and I would try to pick a shade that I felt was truly unique and the shade that I picked up was Caffeinate and this one's really rich. So that is the shade Caffeinate. It is quite dark. It's like a brown but it has some some purple in it some red it just it has a little something i probably would put on a lip liner for this one and i also would probably blot it down i just blotted it down once and i feel like much more comfortable in this and i don't feel like maybe i need the lip liner i feel like this is such a good autumn color and with my little mustard nails and my rusty tea i just i'm ready i'm ready for autumn i'm ready for autumn i'm an autumn baby and i need autumn to come because this summer is killing me uh so this one yeah i just i don't know i really really liked it and and it spoke to me and it's also like full on it's extremely dramatic and i feel like it's always nice to have like a little bit of drama in your collection if you want to go there if there's a reason to go there, you know, why not? And last but not least is actually the shade that I wanted to pick up first, straight out of the gate. And the reason being is this is a shade I have actually tried in another formula in Smashbox collection. They had an always on matte lipstick and that was a very nice formula if you're into matte lipsticks, but I'm not that into like very dry, like no budge matte lipsticks, but I loved the color. And when I saw that they came out with the same shade, but in a formula that's much more up my alley, I got really excited, but I held out because I still had that other lipstick. So I have decluttered that lipstick already and I have made the investment in this one and the shade is out loud it's a really unique burnt pumpkin i love this color so much in fact it does remind me a lot a lot of the melted matte too faced in gingerbread girl mm, not quite gingerbread girl still stays gingerbread girl is just really a unique shade. I'm trying to think of, of a shade that I have that's in the same kind of vein. Okay, I just like swatched all my toasty orangey shades, which I really love. And I know this is not for everyone. Like this color can be very off-putting, but I just think it's extraordinary. Sometimes if you pick the right orange for you, orange is such a beautiful color and it's just not not widely like used i think um but here is sort of my co my collection of oranges we have the two-faced gingerbread girl we have this one by smashbox here is moroccan sunset by m cosmetics in their 
um, Infinite Gloss. And then here is Spicy Sienna, the Glossy Lip Stain from e.l.f. This is very similar. And truthfully, between the two, I would I would prefer the this formula over the the elf. I would prefer to wear this full on if I'm going to be wearing a color like this, um, not as a stain. But I just really love this color. I mean, this is again, I am ready for fall. This entire collection makes me ready for fall. So those are the four shades that I have. I just find the formula to be extremely comfortable. I think it makes my lips look really juicy and it fills in lines really nicely like my lips look so smooth so smooth and it almost feels like gel like like it's not just it's not so creamy that it's going to slip everywhere it feels like there's some gel and your lips feel great even afterwards so this is one of those formulations that you can easily wear every single day and your lips will thank you for it. I find that if you go and wear even like a matte MAC lipstick or some other formulas, your lips react to certain components. You kind of have to keep switching it up. This is not one of those products. This is such a good cream formula. Oh so yeah, that was day 24 on this journey. I just wanted to share a formula that I really am excited about and that is sort of like a staple, a workhorse, just like the rest of the products from Smashbox. They are just some of the best. I mean, there's a reason why the brand's been around forever. If you're not familiar, Smashbox is Max Factor. And Max Factor is one of the originators of makeup for film and Hollywood. And they've been around for, you know, like a century, it feels like. And so a lot of the products are just meant to work. They're meant to work well. They're meant to flatter. And I find them to be at a really great price point. So I hope that you can get as excited about this product as I am about this product. Have you tried these lipsticks before? They're so good, they're so good. Um, and what shades, if you have tried them, what other shades uh, would you recommend? I'm always in the market picking one up. Anytime I see that they go on sale, I'm like, okay, just one more. I could squeeze one more in. Um, I really can't squeeze one more in, but you know, I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a great week. If you enjoyed that video, hit the thumbs up. Why not? <laughs> Consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you can hear about when I post tomorrow's video on what's next on this journey of lip products. I think I'm going to do another one of like a favorite formula that I haven't talked about. So stay tuned. There's another good one coming your way. Okay, take care everyone and we'll talk soon.